Today, the 15th of December, which means time to open door number five and open package number five out of my special box. I wonder what's behind door 15 and I wonder what's in the package today. Watch the video and you'll find out. See you in the movies. <laughs> Everybody, today is the 15th of December, so it's time to do our 15th door and our 15th parcel. Um, it is quarter past 11 a.m. of a Saturday morning here in New South Wales, Australia, and I have got my little Chloe with me today. I thought I'd show her first off. Um, Chloe is the Ruby Ruby kit by Jade Warner. She is part of the triplet with um, my Crystal and also my Christopher. I will get you more about Chloe later. Um, so we'll get on to our opening of our advent doors. Number 15. What's that make it? 10 days to Christmas. So number 15 is down here. I got my trusty knife. So, dig in chocolate, chocolate. Oh my, it, I tell, it is hot here at the moment. I mean, it is hot. I know we all say it's hot, it gets the same every year, but I think we go through winter and it's nice and cool, and when the heat comes, I'm not used to it. Let the sun shine. Well, the sun is shining this morning. We have had some rain overnight, which has made it made it worse. So, when you've got chocolate, I don't think these actually change much from day to day. Oh, I'm trying to find out what that is. I have no idea what that is. Can anybody see? It's not very clear, is it? But that's okay. Do you know what? I've said it before and I'll keep saying it. With chocolate, it doesn't matter what it looks like. The taste is what's important. But then again, it's with any food. You can have a dish that looks absolutely shocking, but when you eat it, absolutely beautiful. Yes, my hair's blown. We have got, I've got the fan going on number two today. So it is hot. So that's our chocolate one out of the road. I'm in the lounge room. I find the lounge room being out here is more comfortable than in my bedroom. Sitting on my nice comfy lounge. So we're door number 15. 15. It's 15. Oh, the one yesterday. Before I go into that. Number 14 was a really weird one. So, excuse me. To, refer, to go back, recap on what number 14 was, or it is some Australians use eucalyptus leaves and seashells to decorate the Christmas tree. When I posted this one up on our Facebook group, one of the ladies said that's what they did at Christmas. They had the eucalyptus leaves and seashells on to decorate the tree. And I said, was it, I asked her, was it Talara powering because of the eucalyptus that not being in the house? She said, no, it was beautiful because they actually lived out in the country. Um, I'm not quite sure whereabouts, which state. But that lady, that's Denise, the one who sent me the next parcel. Well, that's the first I've heard of it. And Denise saying that they did it when they were kids. So it's somewhere in Australia. There are people who actually did this. So it's not a myth. So that's for yesterday. Just to captivate, there is people that I have found someone who does do that. Um, when I go volunteering on, Mon on Tuesday... I will actually find out if there are any other ones in Australia. Are there any other um, 
people because they're all older people they might also have um done something like this so number 15 i should add them we'll see what number 15 today okay get this off okay The custom of kissing underneath the mistletoe became popular in the late 18th century England. I wonder how it came about. So have we got any English people out there who can maybe be able to clarify this as to what, how it came about? But then it's only popular in the 18th century in England. Um, so it could be, you do it, we don't know where it was. I don't have my, I should, I should really, when I'm going to do this, I should really have my computer on because when I finish the, finish the video, I actually get straight onto my, and do the editing what I do, wouldn't it? Um, see? It's probably backwards. The custom of kissing underneath the mistletoe became popular in the late 18th century England. So I wonder if they discovered it. Mm. I might have to have a look at that. I might do that when I finished and I'll do a little video of that and add it on to the end. I will do that. Okay, that's that one. Now we're up to this one. So you've been watching all my other videos and so you know this is a little box that was sent to me. If, you, if you're new here and you don't know what this box is about, go check out my first video which was done, this one would have been done on the 3rd of December, the 3rd day because I didn't get it until the 3rd. Um, I'm shaking. I, um, I, sh I got the thing called essential tremors and I do shake. So. But it's not nervousness or anything. It's just an hereditary thing. So we'll go and see what's inside this box today. Oh, number 15. Number 15. Oh, it's a squishy one. Um, washes. Undies. Another stuffed toy. We will see. Still got a few. So what have we got? Ten days. Uh, I was wrong. I was wrong. I was way off. So it, it's not a soft toy, and it's not washers, and it's not undies. But it's close to a washer. A washer is face cloth. Now where you wash your face and that. But this is close to a washer. Well, uh, well, I don't know what these are called. Exfoliating body scrub, scrubber. I do use these. I use um, a body wash instead of soap when I have my shower. And well, that will come in handy. Um, when I go away on my holidays, I actually have soap. So... Some of the soap that I've actually received in this gift will be going with me. Oh, it's a funny colour. I usually get a purple or a white, but this is good. It's got a ribbon on it. Now, that is something different because usually the ones I get um, are usually a bit, little bit of like a cord at the end of something that, excuse me, they're hanging on. So... Yeah, these are good. I love them. So thank you, Denise. If you're watching, I don't know if you're, you are watching. I wish you, if you are. Nothing else in there. Put that aside. So that's finished. Now we'll bring you up. And as I do, we'll do a little chat to see what's going on. I'll move that out of the road. Oh, sorry. There. And I'll bring up my little Chloe. As I said, said at the beginning, this is Chloe. She is one part, she is a triplet. Um, 
the kit's name the kit's name are Jasper, Ruby and Crystal. This kit name is Ruby. Um, I called her Chloe because when I was searching for the other kits, I did find, find an image, a photo of them, and it had Christopher, Chloe, and Crystal. I think it had Crystal. Yeah. And I thought that were the kit names, you know, but I found out later that actually it was Jasper, Ruby, and Crystal. So this kit name is... This is Ruby, and I, and because of the photo I found with the three names, that is what I have called her. She is she is Chloe. So you say hello to everybody, Chloe. She is beautiful. This is one of the ones I actually had to get redone because the lady who created her didn't put any weight in their head. And the reason the lady said she doesn't put weight in the head because they were open eye babies. And which is ridiculous and because she did that because the, she couldn't put it, it goes in the, it, the head kept falling forward I don't know but I actually contacted I think I don't know who I contact can't remember that was a while back so and they said then she wasn't weighting the head properly and when I asked about the movement of the head she does not they do now. The baby's new move the head. She does not allow the baby's head to be turned because if children are having it. Now, for me, no, I've been collecting reborns. I've been over a year now. That's where I've got most of my reborns since September last year. And that is not correct. All babies turn their head. If you had a baby that did not turn their head, I, no, I mean a human baby, there would be something wrong with it. When I was at the Adelaide Doll Show, I mentioned this about not turning their heads, and the people said they look really weird. No, because everybody, although not everybody, my Bella hasn't, doesn't, her head can't turn, but I'm going to fix that up. So, which is good. Um, and I've got two more ba new babies and they have told you two more babies coming and they should be arriving on Monday. I did have an, a psychologist appointment on Monday morning but I texted her and let her know that I'm expecting a parcel and I'm not quite sure what time it's going to come. So that appointment was for nine so I'm not going. To be there at nine I'll have to leave here at ten catch the tender eight bus in and sometimes the uh, post the parcel post is here by then and sometimes it's not but I want to be here otherwise it will be after two before I get home that day and with the walking I will be doing that day my feet are going to be sore they were sore when I went and seen her on Monday I walked I walked from town centre and cost it's a 10 minute I don't mind walking it's like I do not it's not the walking I don't I don't mind I mind it's the after effect my feet have I have got calcification on the top of my feet you know on the top and that that while of walking really affected my feet I haven't done it in ages I think since I moved here really I moved where I am in September last year and I used to always walk. In the winter time, I would walk downtown and catch the bus home. And, but where I am now, I, I walk to the plaza and it's, huh. And why is that? Because I do a lot of walking, I walk to the plaza, but then again, I, it's not continuous. It's not, it may be only five minutes to the plaza. And I usually go over there and I usually, it's usually it's lunchtime, so I have lunch. So I'm sitting down, I'm not walking continuously for more than 10 minutes because I'm 10 minutes there and 10 minutes back is just think. So I cancelled that, so I had to make it for in the new year when she comes back after Christmas. So what else is happening? I'm feeling much better this morning. Um, the last two nights before last were shocking. Just couldn't sleep. It's not because, I don't know what it was. It's just something going on. 
I don't know. It's just crazy. But last night I was in bed early. Excuse me. Um, I worked a good time this morning. I woke at 8 o'clock, so I got up. Mother Nature was calling, so I had to go Mother Nature. Then I had my pills. Then I had my breakfast and cleaned my teeth and went back to bed. Because the lay in front of the fan because it was so hot. And as I said, I've got the fan going again today. It is hot. Um, so far, I had had some ashes. My power bill is not so much. Um, I read my meter every two weeks, my power meter, so I keep a tab on what I'm usage. And I pay so much each fortnight towards my bill. That way, when the bill comes, I usually have a credit and I like that that way I like to keep no people they don't do that they wait until they get the bill and they're shocked at how much they've got to pay where this way it's all ever done every fortnight another thing that's come up is that I'm having to change my NBN NBN is our broadband here in Australia national I think it's called National Broadband Network. Um, it is really good. I, I've had no troubles with, with my broad since I, I joined. Um, must be three years ago when I was at my other place, I signed up. So three, I've had it for about three years now, maybe a bit over three years. And now I've got a change from my current provider because they have been sold out or something like that. They're going to another company. And because I don't have the fixed wireless or satellite, I'm going to have to find another provider. And I think I have found one. Um, it's only $10 more than what I'm paying and it's unlimited, which is good. Because um, that way, at the moment, I'm, I love going on YouTube, but watching videos and that really is adding into my data because at the moment my data usage is ahead of my days because when I see my graph on my when I log into my my account my usage is ahead of what the how many days it is so mm, I gotta just gotta come it because I don't pay it what I'm on now I don't pay any extra when I go over my limit but it slows down which means there'll be I can't upload, I can't watch Netflix, everything just slows down. I probably can upload, but it just, no, I should be able to upload. I don't know. So I'm going to organise, I was going to wait until January to fix it, but I'm thinking I might get into organising it now so that I can get into it. Um, I wanted Unlimited because of Netflix. I watch Netflix a lot. I love having something different to watch, especially when there's nothing on TV. It is so, especially weekends, there's nothing of a weekend. During the week, sometimes we get a good movie, lunchtime or after, that's it, I'm here. Um, of a night time, unless there's something good on a show I like, there's nothing on. Like I get home, when I'm volunteering, I get home about oh, half past four, quarter to five, and I watch the end, I watch the tail end of Bold Me Beautiful. Then I've got an hour and a half to fill in before neighbours start. So I've got that hour and a half where there's nothing, sometimes there, as I said, sometimes there is good things on TV and some things is absolutely crap. Then after neighbours at seven o'clock, I usually watch Bondi Rescue which is really good. It's an, it, if you've never heard of Bondi, Bondi is a beach in Sydney, very famous beach in Sydney. And we have a show called Bondi Rescue. It's about the lifesavers and how they, go, how they go about their daily, or the daytime, how they, on the beach and save lives. And the amount of people who come to Australia, the tourists, especially those who cannot speak English, they come over, they've never been to a beach before, never, seen, and they go in there, they, they swim anywhere, and they actually get, they've got to get rescued. Um, and it's hard when the guys are rich, of course, they cannot speak English. They think it's fun, they're going out there in the ocean, they think they'd be right. But you've got to be careful in the ocean. No matter where you are in the world, you have to be careful. There's a lot of rips out there. Um, they could not just rip if you're going walking it, you could, could be at a deep, deep hole, you could just go into a hole. I don't know, but rips are the worst things. And these lifeguards do 
a great job. They sit up in the tower and they watch. It's not only do they watch the beach, they watch the ocean, they watch um, what's going around, they keep an eye out for things. Um, they're also like, if someone's injured, you know, sometimes people get injured um, with, well, they jellyfish they sting and they reckon their pain is it very excruciating painful i've never been stung i don't go to the beach much because you can't swim in there but then again i can't swim and there's a wave you get knocked over so no um what else they also do um they also have if there's if the person's in pain especially with the blue bottle stings or jellyfish it's one or the other. They actually have this blue stick, which is actually painkiller. They breathe it in and the pain goes until the paramedics arrive to help assess in that. But with the blue bottles, there's nothing they can do. They just, the people have just got to live through that pain and organize. There's a thing they can do to spray it and do painkillers and that, but that's about it. But if a person is injured, like they've somehow they've hit in the head on the surf, got hit by a surfboard, and they've got a cut head, they can help that. They can have pressure to it, and they call the ambulance, and they come and fix them up and take them to the hospital. A person could have their shoulder taken out of place, and they've got to call the ambulance again to help that. But as I said. They do know first aid these lifesavers and if you happen to come to any beach in Australia, if you come to Australia and you go to the beach, make sure you swim between these flags because their flags are there for a reason. Um, although the lifeguards, they patrol, watch the whole beach, but if you're in that beach, in that yellow flags, it's usually because it's safe to swim. Outside the, outside the flags, it's different parts. It's usually surfboard riders um, body bird, or bodyboard riders, I think they are. So just be careful. Anyway, I probably, it's probably just, I'm not quite sure of your con what country you're, you are in. Do you, you, you must have lifeguards who patrol the... Oh, look, I've seen... What's that? What's that? What's Baywatch. I've seen Baywatch. I've seen the movie. I've watched the watch TV series. So you have got lifeguards. So... You must, you'll have to have flags where you actually swim between. And it's America. I'm not quite sure about other countries, you know, like the Asian countries and the European countries. I'm not quite sure. But you, none of the European countries would not have a beach because they're actually inside. Um, unless it's a fake beach, like there's one up in Brisbane, they created a fake, a fake beach up in Brisbane. Um, what else? I love the beach. But not when it's hot. It is crazy. People, it's hot as anything. And where do they head to? The beach where the sun is. Crazy. Me, I'm here under the fan at home if it's hot. Um, I'm heading um, up to Easter, which is in April, I think it is. Early April, end of April, some, middle of April sometime. I'm heading back up north. I'll be staying in my cabin. I stayed it when I went up there in September for my birthday. I'll be going to the same cabin, so I'll be taking some of my babies. Um, and I will be going, hopefully, it, April should not be hot, but I am going to go down on Kingy Beach and I might do a video there. Um, it's a beautiful beach. It's because, made because I grew, that's the beach I grew up on. We moved to Kingscliff, I think I was about eight or nine. And we will go to the beach every Sunday. We will go down to the beach every Sunday. Then we will come home for lunch. Then we'll go back down to the beach again afterwards. We love the beach. Um, we come home burnt. Then of course our skin would be stuff. No, not stuff. But then my sister would love to peel our skin off. She would sit there and peel it off. I can still remember it. My God. But now, mm, now slip, slop, slap is on Australia. Yes, what is it? You slip on a t-shirt, slop on a hat, and slap on t-shirt. Oh, slap on, slip, slop, slap. So you slip on a t-shirt, you slop on a hat, and slap. Is it slop on whatever? You. T-shirt, hat, 
what's that suntan not it's not suntan lotion it's sunscreen to help protect you from the sun because the sun can burn especially around the middle of the day is the worst time to go out which it so it's quarter past probably it was it probably about half past 11 quarter 12 something around that now past 11 um although in reality time it's only half past 10 so it the highest peak is between midday is not too good because it's a height of the day and there's a lot of sun the set sun is hotter but the best time to go to the beach is probably early morning or you go late in the afternoon is the best time to go so when i head up to there again i'll probably go late afternoon that way i can enjoy the late night there'll be no daylight so april no, there'll be no daylight, daylight saving finish early April, so there'll be no daylight saving. So, no late night. But that's okay. Um, just, I know, it's the same everywhere. Wherever you are, be, stay safe. Um, especially going out at night time. Unless you're going in a group, yes. But, because I'm always by myself, I always go away by myself. I'm not one of those people who has anybody to go away with a holiday with, to share time. So, I look after myself. I'm usually home at night. Um, so, I usually home at night. I can have my main meal of a night, with, of a daytime, which is usually Subway. Then I come home, I'll have... I, I might grab some meals um, on that. They're a beautiful frozen meal. I oh, know you couldn't shoot frozen, but frozen is as good as if you get safe cooking. I know, um, but it's a different micro. I'm not quite sure how the microwave will work. Mm. That's is that is the iffy part. I'll I'll work on it when I get when it comes. Um, I might go to a club and have lunch, have a have a baked meal, have my roast and veggies in that. I decide I have, but Subway, Subway is all, always my go-to meal. I love their sub, They're absolutely beautiful. Um, oh, I went to the markets here at Cops a few weeks back, and I brought some clothes for. I should do that. I should do a change. Well, I'll have to change her soon. I change. Um, who was it? Bead. Was it bead? Yeah. Bead and I took Bead and Bridget with me, and I actually got them some outfits. So I will be changing those into the outfits ready for Christmas because I got was it Bridget? Yeah, it was Bridget. Yes, it was Bridget, and some got her some little dresses. One's red, so I'll be changing her into that. And I brought this little thing, look, little key ring, Tigger. Oh, excuse me. Oh, oh, so that's just another toy. It's it's been knitted. Does that one the stores? And isn't it cute? I, I love Tigger. Yes, I love my Tigger, my cat too. Got his little tail. Oh, Tigger. Oh, Tigger. Here's another toy that I put in the pram when we go shopping. With my babies, don't we? Um, I've just got to start organise what I'm doing for Christmas Day. I think I'm going to have a salad. I'll have beetroot. I've got cheese. I'll, I'm thinking of actually get, getting a chicken. Getting that, I could get that any day. That way, I can freeze it, freeze the meat in parsh in serving sizes, and just have a salad. Um, next Sunday afternoon late on 20, 23rd of December late I will go shopping late because three o'clock the shops close the remaining that each most of the shops close on a Sunday around three o'clock here so there will be won't be many people hopefully they will hopefully they won't stay later I tell you I was over there Thursday was it Thursday or yesterday Yes, no, it was yesterday I went and because I had to post that parcel off to my past Christmas swap buddy and the people, 
I went into a news agency to actually, because I had needed some brown paper because I wanted to wrap the parcel again in brown paper, the post-it. And the people in there, there wasn't a lot, I just busy with people getting their lottery tickets and their scratches and trying to win money. Uh, and mostly they don't win. What they do win is what they're paid out I only buy a ticket special occasion. The last time I bought a ticket when I was up the Sunshine Coast and I won fifty no, when I was at Adelaide. Was it Adelaide? Yes, when I was at Adelaide I brought a ticket and I won fifteen dollars. But I actually in actual fact I didn't win anything because I think the ticket cost me about twenty nine dollars, so I didn't win anything. But I got fifteen dollars back, so it only cost me fourteen dollars. Um, people always try and win money. Then again, there are people who actually have won big in the lotto and they've just gone crazy, you know. They have, they've, they've spent the money. Instead of, it depends on the age. Um, winning the lotto would be a big thing for me. Not, would be a big thing because I don't buy tickets. Um, it depends on the amount, what it would be. Um, be nice to have my own home. With probably two bedrooms, so I have a nursery, maybe three bedrooms, no, two bedrooms, and have a nursery. Um, I'm not one of these people who's into the real poshy homes, you know, the real flash things. Just a nice, this is nice, this, this is a unit. Um, have a home, nice brand around it, something like you sit out on the night time, no stairs, no stairs. But maybe one day. I'm still young. I'm still a spring chicken, so the old is that where I volunteer do, don't they? Hey, I'm not quite sure. I don't think she has a magnet. I'm not quite. Sometimes I get babies and they've got magnets, but they don't come with dummies. I know one of my babies, um, and that's okay, I just turn around the dummy. That's it. I put a dummy on him and it just, he spits it out. He doesn't want it. In actual fact, it is the dummy, the magnet is around the wrong way. I'm not quite sure how magnets work. Is it north to north, south to south, south north? I'm not quite sure. Opposite track, so opposite, the north and south have got to be together, if I'm correct. So take opposite track, so that's it. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling refreshed even after the last two nights. Last night, I was in bed early last night. Um, wasn't long. I'm not what not long after I finished uploading my video that I went I, I this time it wasn't midnight and I realized I didn't have any shower so a lot better last night hopefully tonight oh another thing about the internet there was a series I wanted to watch that I've never seen it's called the L word yes and the L word does start for lesbian it's about lesbians I, I've never seen it I thought I want it you know and I brought this maybe a month or so ago and I thought I'll, it was cheap to me to buy the, to buy the series on DVD and to actually watch it on the net because we're, at the moment I'm a Sky Mesh and I, I only get Netflix unmeted, but Netflix just does, does not have the L word. It, and that would dig into my data. So I'm thinking now when I'm changing, I'm changing an unlimited plan, which means I could actually subscribe to Stan for a month and watch the L word in that month. But then again, if I got to go over two months, I will. Um, I've heard that Stan is not, Stan is not as good as Netflix. Uh, I don't know. Oh, I'm watching a thing called Postcodes, uh, Postcards, I think. What is it, Postcard? No, Getaway. Um, I'm trying to figure out where he is. Oh, he's at South Australia where I went. He's going to Kangaroo Island. Now, see, I watched this show the other week. It was the same show. And I didn't know what was on Kangaroo Island. But this, it's like, I could have went over there. You see the seals. Kangaroo Island. It's not, it's not as far south as Tasmania. Um, but I know what I'm going to do when I go to Tasmania. I'm actually going to go to the bottom of Tasmania because that is the furthest south in Australia you can go. Because you want to go further, you're in the ocean, and it takes you to 
the South Pole. Even when I was at Adelaide, I got to Cape Jervis, where you actually go to um, catch the ferry to Kangaroo Island. I was amazed. If you actually have seen, watched my videos on my trips to Adelaide, you will see how, I mean, it, for me, it was it's emotional. It's the bottom, for there, it was the bottom of Australia. It was the bottom of Australia. If you want to do a Google for Kangaroo Island, you'll see what I'm talking about. It's, um, it was amazing. I think we're, we're um, Cape, it is Cape Jervis. It's spelled J-E-R-V-I-S. I asked the person in the shop, how do you pronounce it? He said Jervis. At Cape, Cape Jervis, if, that's it. If, there's no, there's Kangaroo Island, but any further south, you keep going on the water, you end up at the South Pole. And I think that is what was so amazing. And I'm glad I videoed that part of my trip. And I will be doing the same when I go to Tasmania. So I Tasmania, there's no public transport, there's no trains or anything. Wow. I couldn't move there, really. It's not the train part. It's that there's no buses. And unless you've got a car to get around, I think you, you can't get around. I don't know why they don't have buses. Um, so how do people, they, they, every person must have to have a car or have be able to get a loan of a car. Um, I hired a car to get, when I went there and I found, a, I usually hire, I usually hire with Thrifty. Uh, but this time they were very expensive. I'm pulling back the reins on expensive and I found one and it's under $1,000 for the length of time I'm going to be there. And also because I got the top cover in insurance, I don't have to pay any deposit when I pick it up. I think I've got the platinum cover, which if something happens, insurance covers it. If there's some kind of accident, whatever happens, insurance covers that. And I always get this and nothing's happened, but I, if I don't have to, I didn't realise that if I do that, I don't have to pay a deposit when I go there. Because usually you pay a deposit in case something happens. I don't know why you pay it, but I always pay a deposit. Um, what's happening now? Oh, sugar. Oh. I think we should go. This, hang on, I'm just moving the camera, the tripod. Thank goodness for tripods. If you do videos for YouTube and you, you don't have a tripod, I suggest you invest in a tripod. Um, I'm not quite sure how much they are. I think this one cost about $50, $60. Plus I had to get a gadget on, that goes on top so that I can put my mobile phone in. That comes separate because a tripod is usually, I don't know what it's usually for. A camera, I don't know what they usually use them for. But lucky I got this. So I think we should go this again a bit long one, having a good old chat. Um, so, as I said, this is Chloe, little Chloe. She is the Ruby Kit by Jade Warner. And Jade Warner is an Australian artist. She creates the kits for these babies. She also does silicon babies. Um, she has a website, and I'm not quite She does. She's got one at the moment. She does drag it. She's actually got a, created a, a silicon worm. Um... Amazing. She is it. I'm not quite sure, but she is on Facebook. Even if you just Google Jade Warner, you will see what she has. As I said, she's an Australian. She is in Adelaide. I met her when I was over there. Her mum knitted. I brought her knitted. Her mum knits, and he, she, I actually brought a knitted outfit of her for my new baby Poppy. I brought over there. And her son actually makes these bears and he sells these bears as well. So they're all in the thing of being artists and creating craft and everything. I know I've got to look around for more clothes for my baby. I've got to go through my baby pram outfits to see what I've got and if I need to get any more um, because they are it's um, delivery free to Australia, so which is good. I have to Delivery is, delivery is pretty good. They usually send it next day. So if you've got any tiny babies like this one, um, if you've got 
like five, five zeros is the smallest we can buy in the shops here in Australia. We can't get any smaller. And that that's why baby pram goes from six, seven, eight, nine, zero. They go the tiny ones. Um, my Alice, Alice, she is a buyer in Kitch. I've had got stuff on her. She's a little 10 inch, so 10 inch ones can also go onto baby pram and get little outfits. They usually go by weight and maybe weight. So they don't have sizes, do they? Look at look at her feet. Look at her feet. I should go because this is going to be a long video. She's a gorgeous. She's beautiful. I still think she might be a bit too stuffy, but look at her. Hey. Okay. Is anybody out there? Let's have a look. Can you see anybody? Come on. There's, is that someone? Who's that? Come on, there's someone there. Wave to them. Wait, they might wave back. They might wave back. Hello. If you can see me, wave to me. Wave. <laughs> there we are. Okay. Well, me and Chloe are going to say goodbye and we're going to end this video off. And I'm just feeling good. I think. Um... We're get probably getting close to lunch but that's okay I had that chocolate that'll keep me going for another five minutes <laughs> no I'll wait a bit so we will say goodbye to you and we'll see you in the next video which be, will be tomorrow and we'll find out what's behind the door tomorrow so thank you for subscribing to my channel um, any new subscribers out there any new people who have actually any more mums who have just this is your first time seeing my videos subscribe and have a look and see what's in my other videos go back and look at all my other advent videos start from number one and you'll go back so the, um, number three is where you'll see day three is when you'll see the box opening you'll find out how emotional that was and how funny it was and on the last day in Christmas I will actually have all the gifts that came in the box will actually be in the box to, to pull out that last one that is what I'm planning to do so I see all these little things that Denise has sent me I've already started using one of them I won't say which one because you might not have watched the video but we will go and see you later and have a good day with your babies look after yourself I hope it's not too cold or too hot where you are um, stay warm staying cool whatever I'm staying cool with the fan as you know so we will see you again say so have a good day have a good day, mate. Bye. <laughs>